Become your own hero. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, you don't understand. We can sit here all day long and sing songs. What we're looking for is the yeah. next thing in the music business. You have graced us because your voice, your look, your sound, if that's 17 years old, <laughs> congratulations. You've answered our prayers. No, <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh. Well, I believe <laughs> you might be the biggest star we've ever seen. No doubt, I believe top ten. She was born to be a star. You were. You Thank were. You. Sorry. I truly believe your musical journey for the rest of your life just started right here, right now. Absolutely. Chills. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Did you travel with someone here? Yeah, my mom's here with me. Can we bring her in? We might want to. Yeah. Bring her. Go yeah. holla at mama. Yeah. Okay. Younger. I mean, that's up there. Dad, skinnier. Killer. Yes. Prettier. <laughs> accept. Understand. Mom. Hi. Hi, Mama. Hi. Hi. Your second born has just blown our faces off. Faces off. Gasket. You're so good that you deserve a break. In each city. This year, we have decided to do a special ticket upgrade. That's right, 20 years of creating superstars. And now we feel like we definitely got us a superstar on we our know hands. what we're doing here. I'd like to be your manager, producer. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <good>. Listen, <laughs> people don't realize, but within all of those golden tickets, look at there. Do you notice something unique about that wall? I don't know if... I, I mean, I've never seen it in person, but there's a bigger one ah, in the middle. That is called our 20-year anniversary platinum ticket, and it will allow you to get to go through one of the rounds in Hollywood Week. You can sit and watch and strategize. Size up your competition. Size them up. That means you are going to... What are you going to sing today? Human. Oh, okay. I love yeah, that song. Yeah. And why human? Christina wrote it in a very vulnerable way. So I think that I can connect to it really well emotionally. New words in my head, knives in my heart. You build me up and then I fall apart. Cause I'm only human. I 
like what's going to help you translate that bigness is just the eye contact that you had with the camera and the crowd and just big hands. Right. Don't be like, you know, this the whole time, but, <laughs> but at the right times, you know, one, I'm only you know? Yeah. Nice. This has been one of the best weeks of my life already. I couldn't have imagined it going any better. This experience is just overwhelming in the best way possible. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope I do it justice. You might have noticed that there was no voting information during Kennedy's performance just now. Since we taped these shows in Hawaii earlier, Kennedy has decided to withdraw from our show for personal reasons. We send her well wishes. I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. It's Okay. Yeah. It's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. What do you do for a living? Um, I have not been working for quite a few years. I've been dealing with cancer. Oh, sorry. Now how are you now? Uh, last time I checked, I had some cancer in my lungs, my spine, and my liver. Wow. I moved to California in the summertime. I changed my name thinking that it would change my mind. I thought that all my problems, they would stay behind. I was a stick of dynamite and it just was a matter of time, yeah. It's all right, 
Wow. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. There was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and, oh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. Um, and I'm not going to give you a yes. I'm going to give you something else. It was a great show, but there was somebody missing. Nightbird. At the auditions, her original song had an incredible impact around the world. Simon Cowell was so moved, he reached for the golden buzzer. Since then, she's had to drop out of the competition, but she joined us recently to let us know how she's doing. Hello, Nightbird. Welcome. It is so good to see you. <laughs> hey, oh. Terry, it's good to see you. First of all, Nightbird, your golden buzzer performance has now been seen over 200 million times. When you wrote It's Okay, did you have any idea it would have that big an impact on the world? There's no way I would have ever imagined that. Um, it's a song I wrote for myself in the middle of the night when I needed those words so bad. And it's... Um, it's beautiful to see uh, the world welcome that song into their own dark night. And uh, I, I'm overwhelmed by it. Can I just say something? You know, the entire world is suffering adversity right now. And you are the poster human for courage in the face of adversity, for poise, for beauty, and for fight. And that's what we all need to do. Thank you, thank you for touching us with your son, with who you are, how you are. We were amazed by you. Thank you so much. Hello, Jane. Hi. We've spoken a few times, and um, look, um, you know, you made the decision, rightly so, that you know, your health is your priority right now. And I know that the last time we spoke, you, you actually said you feel like you let people down. Well, I just want to say on behalf of all of us, you haven't let anyone down. Even though you haven't competed, you've already won, as Terry said. I mean, your, your clip has had such an impact on so many people and your courage and who you are. And the most important thing is your well-being and your health and your recovery. And on behalf of all of us here, we're sending you our love, our prayers, and we can't wait to see you again soon. And thank you so much for auditioning on the show and for, for singing such a beautiful song and you know it was <laughs> we love you i just wanted to say hi too and i love I, you i i love all of you right back and i'm i cannot say thank you enough for the opportunity to to have a moment to share my story and um i think we're witnessing like such a beautiful picture of the human spirit and the triumph of the human spirit. And um, I think it's restored my faith in humanity a whole lot to see people come together. Um, just over the fact that we all hurt, we all suffer, and we all have the potential to to overcome. And um, it's this is, I mean, the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Thank you so, so much for being here, Nightbird. You are awesome. We love you. What an inspiration. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> I love you guys too. Thank you so much. I have, I have three kids, so that's like. Get what? away from here. What are you saying? Uh, <laughs> okay, Katie? Nope. It's okay. If Katie lays on the table, I think I'm going to pass out. Three kids. <laughs> Honey, you've been laying on the table too much. You know. You know. <laughs> I did like a little bit of like I, church I, choir. And, is and this then your now, dream? We, um, is it now?
Uh, if it's not your dream, you, you might need to leave because there's a lot of dreams behind you. Right. Literally, I'm still processing. I can't even, like, answer. Like, this is so much. Uh, let's hear All this. All right, well, let's... <laughs> why don't you freak us out, Freaky Friday? The cherry bomb. What are you going to sing for us? I was supposed to sing Benny and the Jets, but then my voice is... So now I'm going to sing You Know I'm No Good by Amy Winehouse, and I hope it goes... Okay. okay. Meet you downstairs in the bar and heard your rolled up sleeves and your skull t-shirt. What did you do with him today? And sniffed me out like I was Tanqueray. I cheated myself like I knew that I would. Come on, we need more. But I told ya, I was troubled. Oh, you know that I'm no good. <laughs> That's not enough. Ooh. I know. Try Benny and the Jets. Try it. Try what it. do you got to lose? Nothing. OK. It's not her dream yet. All right, OK. Show us what your voice can do. Take it to the limit. No looking back. Sing it like it's your new dream. All right. Hey, kids, shake it loose together. The spotlight's hitting something that's been known to change the weather. We'll kill the fatty calf tonight, so stick around. You're gonna hear electric music, solid walls of sound. Say, Candy and Ronnie, have you seen them yet? Ooh, but they're so spaced out. B -b 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 Benny and the Jets. Said, oh, but they're weird and they're wonderful. Oh, Benny, she's really keen. She's got electric boots, a moe suit, you know. Benny and the Jets. Benny! Benny and the Jets, yeah. More of that. <laughs> Benny! Benny and the Jets, yeah. Hold it out. Benny! Benny! Benny, 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 Benny and the Jets. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Sit down. Oh my God. Accidental American Idol. Yep. Dumb. <laughs> but like for real, this is so cool. <laughs> Woo. Okay. I feel like a comic strip character just came to life. Oh my. I love you. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> I love it because you don't know what the hell you're doing here. Dang. But you're a great singer. <laughs> Look, if it's not your dream, it's not going to go far. Because right. I also respect everyone that's walking through that door who will lay down their life Me for this too. golden ticket, you know? Me too. They're amazing. You know, yeah. I don't want you to be a gimmick. Through all of this, there's an artist that's got to come out of that. I think we can vote. Luke. I just love your energy. You're a yes. OK. Lionel. I want to kind of get you to understand, you have to take it seriously. You know, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to go with my, my gut. I, I, it's going to have to be a no for me this trip. I'm sorry. Yeah. Katie? I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Can I just say, yeah, that's why not? <laughs> Hell yes! <laughs> well, if you got two, then you got the right answer. One, two, three. Hi. You're going to Hollywood! Oh, my God. And facing her own struggles with confidence is mother of three, Sarah Beth. There's a lot of really amazing singers. This is all kind of overwhelming for someone like me, so I haven't ever really done any music stuff. And we called in the perfect mentor to help with confidence, American Idol legend, Clay Aiken. Sarah Beth, you look exactly like I dreamed you would. There's a pressure, I think, that comes when you feel like this is the make or break moment for you. 
Some contestants, I think, have gotten too much in their heads. Roxanne, you don't have to wear that dress tonight. I watched your auditions. You sang two songs. I did. Infectiously lovely. I don't know who just sang in front of me. I want the person who I saw audition. When I was on the show, I really didn't have confidence. Yeah. But you can fake it. And if you fake it one time, you'll have it. It worked for me. Yeah. It's going to work for you. And I don't want to leave, but I have I don't really even know what show business is. And then, like, I came here, and, like, it's, like, just, like, a little taste of it. And I'm like, woo I've been a mom since I was 18. You know, I've been married since I was 18. And I don't feel like I fit, like, the mold. So I'm trying to figure this all out. I don't know. If that nerves thing is because you're worried that you're going to mess up, <laughs> then you got to get rid of it because they are going to love you. I don't think I realize quite how hard it would be to be away from my kids. They're all still really young. I feel like I'm going to try my best because I'm here, and so that's what I should do. There's a lot of guilt that comes when you leave your kids to do something, like, completely selfish. I'm just going to try to keep my head on straight. opportunity is really rad but this is actually gonna be my last performance uh, cuz I'm my heart's at home so I'm gonna get home to my babies they kind of need me so thank you <laughs> Thanks. What, what just happened she's gonna leave what's happening this is actually gonna be my last performance I'm gonna head home to my babies. Thank you. What, what just happened? She gonna leave? What's no, happened? we're gonna figure this out. Yo, what the heck is going on? Um, I'm going home. It went a lot better than I thought it would, but I'm gonna head home to get home to my babies. That was a mistake. But the thing I see in her is her fighting spirit. You get her in here? Let's bring her in. Yeah, go get her. Bring her in. Bring her in. The judges want to see yeah. her. Sarah Beth, I know. Life is scary. For sure. <laughs> I also know that it's easier to walk away than to be rejected. But then I also know that you lose out on your fullest potential. And I know that you love your family for your kids. I know that as a mother. But remember, Self-love is just as big as motherly love. Don't leave the competition. Thank you. I, it's all to you. I feel like I'm not going to hold this show anyway, so I might as well just go home. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing really good. Tell us who you are. My name is Benson Boone. I am 18 years old, and I'm from Monroe, Washington. What made you want to audition for Idol? I started singing a year ago. I know a year ago? Yeah, I didn't know I could sing before a year ago, so I don't know where you it came from. You never sang Happy Birthday? I did, but I just sung it bad with my friends, <laughs> you know. But I don't know. It's become a really big passion of mine really quickly, and so I auditioned. So you big TikToker? Oh, boy. <laughs> I do some singing and then entertainment. Not like, I don't, like, there's a lot of thirst traps on there, like uh -huh. guys trying to be. Rawr. What's this guy that's on TikTok that's like, 
Noah Beck. Noah, yeah. yeah. And he does his little dances. Yeah, does his little dances, takes his shirt off. I bet he has <laughs> six pack abs. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's see yours. <laughs> I have an ab. <laughs> an ab. Yeah. Just one massive <laughs> square bloated ab. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you going to sing today? Uh, today I'm singing Punchline by Aiden Martin. Uh, uh, let's hear it. Right, I'll be way. playing the piano. So. Oh, oh man, really? Oh, really? Just, <laughs> okay. Benson just Boone. happened. Does this, should I be like really close no, to the microphone? Make yeah, a couple for get, you. Yeah. Okay. Does this sound good to you guys? Oh yeah. Right here. Just, can Have you hear you yourself? Use the mic? Not really. <laughs> oh my All god. Right. I love this. Well, hey, the best way to test the volcano is jump in it. Said no one ever. <laughs> Philosopher. Are you actually learning the song right now? No, I'm just making sure I haven't played uh, for a little bit. I'm just making sure I have the chords down. This is designed to scare the hell out of you. It is. Are <laughs> <laughs> you? All right. I don't know if I'm in a crowd, though. I stand alone. You know all the words, but don't sing alone. Every single eye has been watching me And they don't see That I am just another It's trying to find a way To hold on to your loving And laugh away the pain I don't need no cameras To see your point of view I need someone to turn to Hey, I guess my heart never learns Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Kill us. All right. One thing I just have to get clear and straight. You never just, yeah. you never sang growing up. No one in my family sings, so I just didn't, like, think you it. You just never took it serious. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm just calling it natural talent. I mean. It's crazy. It, you know, there's just some folks that need to practice, and there's some folks that just are gifted at it. You're not cocky. You're humble. You're still in diapers. You're a toddler when it comes to this world. Just start having fun with your voice because it's a true gift, man. Thank you. Right? They're going to swoon over Benson Boone. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm going to tell you something that you may not believe. But if you believe it, it might happen. I mean, I'm like literally, I like see American Idol and I see you. And I see you winning American Idol if you want to. Oh, my God. That is the biggest compliment I've ever got. Thank you. Hallelujah. It's a yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thomas Day. I am a junior in high school in Brentwood, Tennessee. Are you good at school? Yeah. What's your favorite subject? Football. Football. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Are you pursuing that? Are you looking to the NFL? I'm getting recruited right now, yes, sir. Really? Okay. Wow. With that. Amazing. So what will you be doing class today? I will be singing for you. Oh. Okay, I didn't guess that. What song will you be singing? Break My Heart Again by Phineas. And why that song? You know, it comes from like a really emotional part of my heart that I don't like to expose. But the only way I can expose it is with this song. Aww. Good luck to you. Just now we're leaving Cannot come around Later on this evening Or do You need time Yes, of course That's fine So go ahead and break my heart again Too love song. 
risks we have A decade later That same perfume blows inside us Go ahead and break my heart again Leave me wondering why the hell I ever let you in Are you the definition of insanity? Or am I, or it must be love To love someone who lets you break them twice I think you're very handsome and it's great that a guy like you that is into sports is also into your music. I imagine it's very different from what your other teammates do. So for you to explore that sensibility, it's amazing. I loved it. Thank you so much. Howie, what did you think? You have a, a great charisma. I think you got great tone in your voice, but were you nervous? A little bit. Yeah, I just think that this looked a little nervous and stiff to me. Leave my heart stays empty for They don't have to agree. Um, hey, I love a young man is not afraid to sing a schmaltzy song. So I'm going to start the voting with your first yes. Thank you so much. Howie. For this year, at this point, I'm saying no. Sophia, what did you think? I loved it. I give you your second yes. Thank you. Simon. I think it was a really, really good first audition. Judging by the reaction in the room, I think the same thing will be people watching at home. They're going to want you to do well in this competition, Thomas. But... We see a lot of singers who come out here where I'm genuinely struggling, going, well, where do you go from this? The story of my life, I take her home. I drive all night to keep her warm and time. It's frozen. But there are so many songs I could hear you reinterpreting. So you've got your third yes. <laughs> People have been asking why I did not perform at the live shows. Me and my mom, we're in Hollywood, California. I'm rehearsing, I'm singing my songs. And then my mom came in the room from a call and she told me that um, she tested positive for COVID-19. And I'm like, oh God, no, please don't let this happen to him. A lot of things went through my head, like was she gonna be okay? It was very scary for me. It was just like a bomb dropping. They had to separate me from her for the next two weeks. I couldn't check in with my mom, even though she was right down the hall. He was getting tested every other day, negative, and then positive. I was scared for my health, but my mom and I were fortunate to get through it. I've watched the show, I've seen all the people go through, and I mean, I know, like, my, my dream's over. Like, I'm just waiting for the flight to go back home. And out of nowhere, on the last day of quarantine, that's when I got the call. They told me I was being brought back on the show as a wild card. Just what? I feel so blessed and thankful. This isn't the end. This is the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We don't know how long we're on this earth for. Ready to go home? No. I'm ready to perform. Now that I have this AGT dream in my hands, I'm not going to let it slip out. I like it, like it. 
once we've both said our goodbyes. Let's just let it go. Let me let you go. I'm crying when I'm coming home, but I'm on my own. I can lie and say I like it like that, like it like that. I can lie and say I like it like that, like it like that. Thomas Day. The judges are on their feet. <laughs> Heidi. Thomas Day. Heidi. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. First of all, I'm happy that you're better now. Going through that must have been a nightmare. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so happy you had this chance for America to hear you, for us to hear you again. I think you did really well. But it's going to be so tough because the competition is really tough tonight, especially with the singers. So I wish you good luck, but you did a really good job just now. Thank you so much. Howie. You know what? You're a young man who's gone through a really tough journey. And I'll tell you, as tough as that was, well worth it. Because I just think you, you, you no, tonight you just shone. And tonight I think you gave America what they need. And I think tonight you've, uh, I, you've paved a path for yourself to the finals. I really, truly believe that. Thank you so much. Thank You're you welcome. The world. Sophia. What you went through, I think it makes it so much special that you're here tonight because you deserve to be here. You're so handsome, your voice is beautiful. I think the girls are gonna go crazy with yeah. you. <laughs> and you know, it was amazing. This song was perfect for you and I am so happy that you got better and that you made it. Thank you so much, that means the world. How old are you? I'm 16, I just turned 16, October. What? October Come 21st. Are you kidding me, right? Yes, sir. Roebuck is a small town. Um, it's like 2,300 people. <laughs> you represent South Carolina. Hello, oh, Roebuck. Yes, ma'am. I'm very close to my mom. I love my mom very much. She's believed in me ever since I started, you know? I love you. I love you. I feel like a lot of people believe in me more than I believe in myself. Life ain't always been easy for me. After my parents' divorce, you know, I kind of just lost myself and writing songs kind of helped me find who I was again. So I'm happy to be here. It means you're not a nobody. I mean, you're one of the few people to get these chances of a lifetime, you know. What you gonna sing today? It's, uh, it's called Nowhere. Is it a song you wrote? Yes, sir. I wanna be like a legend. I wanna be somebody who um, changed country music. Kind of wanna be an outlaw too. A little bit, little bit of an outlaw. <laughs> Just knowing me, I don't get a lot of second chances. I get too deep for realizing my circumstances. I make a mess of love, like I don't lie enough just to face the truth and run to what I do, which is running around making sound like a turn. For fun and to forget, like to do things I won't believe. Make money at a job and no one likes just to pay the bills and get by. Try to move on, fight off my wrong, hop in the truck just to go nowhere. Yeah, just to go nowhere. Who'd you write that with? Nobody. Wow. <laughs> I kind of tried to write a second verse, but I couldn't really get Man. it. You haven't written a second verse of that song? No, that's just, I mean, this is all I got, like, um. I'll help you right now. <laughs> Listen, you better finish that song nowhere, mm. because that song's going to take you somewhere. Yes, ma'am.
You can put your hat up just a little bit so we can see your eyes. That's right. Yeah, let me just take it off for you. There's that completion of the mullet. Look at that mullet! That's curly. <laughs> How much are you riding? Every day. I always got something going through my head. All right, buddy. Man, well, please. I'm, a, I'm more of a rider than I'd call myself a singer. I, I, I lack self-confidence a lot, my voice. Well, listen, ma'am, here's the deal. You ain't the only kid out there that's lacking self-confidence these days. Your voice tells a story far beyond a 16-year-old kid. Yes, sir. You got something real special. You're a real songwriter, but you've got a grit and gravel and crack in your voice that Ooh. says, Ooh. I'm in pain, someone please come save Ooh. me through this song. Ooh. And there's a lot of people like you. And a lot of people want to process whatever the heck they're going through by listening to your music. If you want to change your reality, the power is in your hands right there with that guitar. Thank you. You have mastered at such a young age of 16 a storyteller's voice. Mm. The three of us think you're it. And whatever you thought you heard when you were growing up, they were lying to you because they were jealous of you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You understand me? Yes, sir. All right? And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. We are going to vote. Luke, what do you think about this young man? Yes, if I've ever said yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Young man, I have great expectations for your life. It's a yes. You're, You're going, going to Hollywood. Hollywood. I feel by the wayside like everyone else. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, but I was just kidding myself. Our every moment, I start a replace. Cause now that the corner lie here were the words that I needed to say. When you hurt under the surface, like troubled water running cold. Well, time can heal, but this won't. So. If only I'd have known you had a storm to weather So before you go Was there something I could have said to make it all stop hurting It kills me how your mind can make you feel so worthless So before Can someone mention you are all alone? I could feel the trouble passing through your veins. Now I know it's got a hold. Just a phone call left unanswered had me sparking up. These cigarettes won't stop me wondering where I'm going to let go. Keep a hold. 
feet is walking to the distance is a house upon the hill guiding like a lighthouse to place where you amazing be can I just say something you know I've seen a lot of aerialists uh, throughout my career but this is probably one of the most emotionally clear beautiful elegant stories that I have ever seen I know what Daniel meant to you and what this moment meant to you that was impeccably perfect Thank you so much. That means it so much. I honestly don't even know what to say because my heart is literally beating through my chest right now. That was so beautiful. It really was so beautiful. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so in my feels right now. You know, you came out here and you said we usually perform in queer spaces and that got me thinking like so many people out there are in spaces where they don't feel welcome. And I know that feeling as well. And I think one of the driving forces for my career has to try to make it so more spaces feel comfortable for people. And so this is because you are talented. This is for you. This is for everyone at home. And this is for Dan as well. Music has been a part of my life since before I was even born. My dad was in a group called The Eurythmics. When I was born, you know, my dad was on tour and I was going to shows when I was still in my mom's tummy. Plus, I'm going to tell you something. We were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame together, yeah. and it was an evening that we will never forget. It was amazing. amazing. Thank you very much. And yeah. just to have you with your daughter, I think, is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, too. <laughs> The musician's lifestyle has been something that's just been a part of my life. There was never a question of what I wanted to do with my life. It was just, that was always gonna be what I was gonna do. With all the different opportunities and connections and stuff, how did you even land at American Idol that this is the right choice? I mean, a huge part of me even coming on was getting to sing my own music, which is, I think that opened like a whole new world for me, looking at American Idol. I am singing a song today that my dad and I wrote together. I wouldn't want to do it any other way. It's really yeah. a great feeling that this is now the creative destination for, for artists. Totally. American Idol is such a huge deal for me. I'm just really excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. <laughs> I've got choices that I make. Like I'm not thinking about you when I make them. And if it's a mistake, then at least I know that I'm to blame. And so when I walk in that corner store, my heart this time won't hit the floor. Cause I don't care. I don't care if I let you go. a book on how to change but I just can't get through the pages and it's really such a shame but I guess this time I've got to say it I'm not cold-hearted just the truth I guess I'm not in love with you and I don't care I don't care if I let Dave, I have to tell you... This I, is I, much I, more difficult than being inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You effect. know what? It's, it's true. It's it so is. true, man. It is. This is more nerve-wracking than anything we've ever done in <laughs> my life. It is. Oh, my God. That was great. 
Yeah, Thank what do you, you think, so Lionel? What do you think, Lionel? I mean, it's hard because he's like your brother. We're in the same he's not family. Here. Be honest. He's I'm going to tell you the truth because <laughs> truth is what we are about. So, yeah. first of all, for the songwriting part and the, and the pressure of being here, I give you so much props. Thank you. And the fact that your dad showed up, I give him props. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole lot of props here. Yeah. But in the midst of all of this, you slayed it. I mean, you. Oh, thank I, you so I, much. I, I love the tone of your voice, and you're an artist. You're really an artist. Thank you. You know, this is a tricky competition, but I totally think you're worthy to go jump in the mix of all this. You know, you can tell that you've grown up on the stage, around the stage, and you put in the stage presence side of it. I mean, you were comfortable and delivered it. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was great, and looking forward to potentially hearing some more stuff that you've written. Ooh. Thank you. Look, I love that little flip in your voice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna get this tattoo removed when you flip into it. Can you do it one more time, just awkward? Um, I'm gonna get this tattoo removed. That's the sparkle stuff right there. <laughs> The thing about us is we get really technical with it. And I'm sure, like you know, we're gonna probably be a little bit more nitpicky with you, because you're good, and also you understand it. Yeah, you know yeah, the business, yeah, and understand. the business is real. Let's vote. Okay. I am a yes. All right. Yes. Hallelujah, yes. Thank you so much. Thank Woo! you, guys. You're going to Hollywood. <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you want from me? We are gonna be singing What Do You Want From Me from Adam Lambert. Ever since we introduced ourselves, we've been on the same page about everything, and it's so nice. Look how quick we learned the words, though. I honestly did not think it was gonna be that easy. We're young women who both have really big goals and really big voices, and you'll find that out in a second when we sing. Oh. Oh, that was really confident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Girl, we're good. We're so good. We're gonna be fine. After a great start, overnight, things took a sudden turn for the worse for Kaya. It's duet day right now. I'm really sick, so um, it was a long night. Just a yeah. oh, What is that I'm one? working it out. Everything originally was amazing when Kaya and I were rehearsing this morning and kind of just going through things and figuring out our plan. Then throughout the day, she just kind of started getting kind of sicker and sicker and started to get a fever and she couldn't remember the words or anything. It was less and less progress. We were going in the opposite direction. Hey, slow <laughs> down, what do you want from me? I'm just like, I feel bad. I don't know it well enough because I haven't been running it at all. And like, because I've been like basically like dying, I just, I'm so nervous about getting up and doing it. I always want to give my best, and um, I'm not giving my best here, and I don't think it's a fair representation of myself to do that, or for Fire either. I don't think it's fair on her um, for me to not give 100% when she's giving 100%. You did all this work to get here. You guys, like, yeah. this is overnight. I mean, of course, I want to, you know, continue in the show, but I needed to take a break today. I mean, it's definitely not an easy decision. You know, you have a, a duet partner. Right. And at a certain point, you just have to decide what you're going to do. I just put, like, everything into it. And, you know, I felt so confident and, like, <sighs> oh, God, I'm out of breath. Um, <sighs> I don't know what's going to happen. I want to know if you feel comfortable going on stage or not. Uh, Everybody, um, I have a little announcement to make. Okay. Um, I got sick at the beginning of Hollywood Week, yes. and I have been trying to push myself and keep going. And during this performance, I got to work with Fire, and it was such a great experience. She's so talented and so incredible, and we bonded so much but I realized that I wasn't able to give 100%, so I've decided um, to not perform. Oh. But Fire is going to perform, and I'm really grateful that I got to be here, and thank you guys, um, but I'm not gonna be performing. Does that mean that you have decided to leave the competition? 
Yeah, so me not performing today means I'm no longer going to be in the competition. I, I have to leave. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's tough. Uh, Fire, how do you feel about her not singing with you? I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> it's been really stressful. Um, you know, it was a lot of stress on me to uh, learn a different arrangement and then just come out here. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Hunkasaurus Rex. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are Hunkasaurus Rex! <laughs> <laughs> Can you step back because you are... Katie's going to lunge at you. <laughs> uh, wow. Hi. Hey. What? Hi. <laughs> What's her name? Nick. How young Nick. are you? 22. Of course mm -hmm. you are. Um, where are you from? Florida. And can you tell us a little bit about your life? I remember I first got into singing from listening to The Sound of Music. And then I started to like discover pop music and learn how to play piano, guitar. And then I got my lucky break when I was oh. 18, 17. I was, on a, I was on a TV show and for really? acting. Yeah, yeah. How was your experience with that? It was amazing. But at the bottom of my heart, I knew that music is always what I wanted to do. And that's really where my soul lies, you know? Cool. All right, Nick, what are you gonna sing for us? I'm going to be singing Back to Black by Amy Winehouse on the piano. Great, go really? for it. Very right. good. Thank you. <clears throat> she left no time to regret. Kept her lips wet The same old safe bed I try to trouble track My eyes are stacked As I go back to black uh, We only said goodbye with words I died a hundred times about okay oh uh, thank you nick man <laughs> can you prepare him on the girls screaming he knows no, he's been on a television show you. not singing <laughs> on american idol when he looks down and goes uh. nick you know you're like a handsome gentleman correct thank you you've heard it once or twice right maybe once do you maybe. have a girlfriend uh no i don't do you have many girlfriends Oh, come on. No, I don't have many girlfriends. I'm focused on my life right now, my career. Like that, like that. Do you play gigs? A couple. Like how? Um, I do a lot of open mics, to be honest. I'm having an open mic at my house. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you know where to find me now, so. Ah. <laughs> you out there, mama? <laughs> Right there, <laughs> you know what? That was about as close to crooning as I've ever seen, mm. okay? You had that dreamy eyes look, and then you open your mouth. Your sound is amazing. If it all goes well, my friend, <laughs> you can be famous, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Nick, there are some people that can sing better than you. Yeah. But maybe missing other pieces of the puzzle. That's right. But you want to be here because you're talented, right? right? And you're a real artist, right? Of course. So make sure to focus on that, you know. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to vote because I can't look anymore. Uh, <laughs> I'm a yes! You okay, Kate? I'm a yes! 
Yes. I'm a yes. yes. Nick, I'm not even going to scream. Yes. yes. You're going to Hollywood, Thank baby you boys. Going to Hollywood. Well done. It's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Absolutely. Great job. Thanks to meet you. All right. Pleasure. All right, you got it. Take it easy, guys. Take care, man. Oh, baby. They told me to go to the tea, but how about this? I'll come a little closer. No, no, no. You got to be back there because your lighting is back there. Lighting is better over here? Yes. Yeah, so Wait, also, you look very familiar. I auditioned last year. Yeah, yeah. you abandoned us. I know you my heart's broken, us. too. Are you back on your knees pleading for a second chance? Is that what you want? No, no, I don't no, need no, you, no, but okay. just no, like no, figuratively. Figuratively. I mean, yeah, I'm here to play for you guys, you know? All joking aside, we were like... What happened? Some personal things went down, and I had to figure out a lot of things and really take the last year as a boot camp. And you guys were so kind to me, and I'm so grateful for your second opportunity. That's why I'm here today to sing for you guys again. Well, you better not ghost us. <laughs> I won't. Again. Not gonna happen. Because it triggers me. I know, I'm on my way, but I'm back. I brought snacks. Be on this road trip now. Well, I'm already engaged. You missed it. <laughs> anyway. And I'll take four rounds. So my name is Nick Mariko. How old are you? 23. All right, Nick. All right. Keep Let's, it do, us Let's do it again. again. <laughs> the chorus I enjoyed the cry in the chorus I just have this feeling that you think that you're too good for us oh Katie remove those that's demons that's not true I mean that's At the all. only reason why you would abandon us well yeah sure you got a lot of things going for you you're cool you nice eyes <laughs> sing well you come in here with your nice eyes yeah you sing well you definitely take a lot of boxes so all I'm saying is if, if you do go to Hollywood just like be open to being molded and shaped and the whole thing because you do have a good chance but there's one thing that's going to get in the way and don't let it it's going to be your ego i understand okay okay i know exactly we don't, we don't really about. we don't really tolerate that all right uh <laughs> nick we have a problem <laughs> okay we have a big problem honestly okay because i don't like it Ooh. Lionel Richie. No, I gotta be honest. Really? I gotta be honest with you. I don't like you. And for some weird reason, it's not sitting well with me. I don't like your voice. What? I'm um, being honest. I'm being very honest. I don't like your attitude. And I don't really think you're gonna make it in Hollywood. Now, how do you feel right now? I feel hurt. Good. Because that's exactly what I want you to feel like. Because I want you to understand what it feels like when people don't adore you. You got that? I do. I want to take him from here <sighs> to here. And then I want him to come back up here now when we tell him he's going to work real hard and give us the goods. 
lose the rest. Can we vote right now? No, 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 hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, no, here, wait. Come here. We have to do it officially. Okay, hold it. One, two, three. You're, You're going, going to Hollywood. Say it, say it. Thank you, guys. Oh, hello. All right. What's up? Howdy. Right, man. How are you? Who are you and where are you from? I am Drake Milligan. I am 19 and I'm from Fort Worth, Texas. Of course, everybody back home, you know, calls me Hollywood or, or Elvis. You know, it's never, it's never my name. Hollywood. I love that. I love my home in North Carolina. When I was about 10, I saw an Elvis impersonator. Went home and found everything I could about Elvis. Books, videos, and movies. I started taking guitar lessons and voice lessons and, you know, trying to sing like him, emulate everything he did. As my voice got better and better, I started performing as Elvis. He grew from, you know, wigs and jumpsuits to professional stuff. I feel like C-3PO in this thing. I won quite a few competitions. I know Elvis' music like the back of my hand. I love it. But what I feel like is my calling is country music. I'm a country boy at heart, I guess. I grew up in a little town called Mansfield. Don't you dare go running down. The family business has been scrap metal recycling. I've never really taken much interest in it. I've always wanted to go in music. See what you're missing? <laughs> you could have all this instead of a guitar. <laughs> well, we knew from the word go that it was not going to be for Drake. He's always had that musical ear, playing on guitar, singing, and that's all right. I want him to be happy with what he loves to do. Where I, come from. I haven't stepped in front of too many people as myself. You know, it's always been this kind of disguise, if you will, as Elvis. You know, stepping in front of these celebrity judges, it's kind of a, a really uh, vulnerable side of me. Whoa, how you sparkle, know how you shine, the flush on your cheeks is more than the wine. And he must do something that I didn't do. Whatever he's doing, it looks good on you. You look so good in love. You want him? That's easy to see. You look so I like that. I, I love when they change that. that little, you you won't. Won't. I just say, you won't. I just love. I was praying you didn't sound like Elvis. I know. I know. I, know. I mean, I can, man, I can, when yeah. you, you yeah. didn't, you just crushed yeah. it because yeah. you didn't do that. Thank you. If I see you in Nashville and I hear you do that, I would be fired up there and I'm fired up now. Fired up. Fired up. You're, um, I like that. You're cowboy cool, man. You are comfortable, my friend. Yeah. I just sat back and could hear another song and then another song. <laughs> you're comfortable in your skin, you're comfortable in your voice, your attitude, the whole thing is a yeah. package. I do have a question, though. What is that, like, low thing? Because when you start out some of the notes, it's kind of like a real, Scooping. Scooping, a real yeah. low sure. thing. And if we could trim that out of there, you know, I don't and know. I, I know what bit, you're saying. It's I mean, a you... bit froggy, but I think he's a star in the making. Absolutely. I think you should tell your buddies that nicknamed you Hollywood that you're, you're going, going to Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I got to come up and get it. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, come and set that Thank up. Thank you guys so Good much. Good deal. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah. you too. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Awesome. All right, Thank we'll you. see you out there. Thank you. All right, enjoy Hollywood, man. <laughs> Hollywood. 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 H
just want the best for you. I don't see it enough that I just want the best for you. Huh. Huh. Wow. Huh. Huh. Cool. Thank you. So, ultimately, the question comes down to right. the suitcase. The suitcase. So, That's right. I bought this when I was 13, playing my first gig in the lift lines at the ski resort. Ticket goes here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luke, what do you think about this young man? I want more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, wow. um, Wyatt, first of all, you are the exact spitting image of my high school bass player, Jeff Kalen. <laughs> Is that right? Kidding, huh? I'm talking about hilariously <laughs> exactly. Wow. Really, huh? Yeah, so, man, I think you're totally cool, totally unique, totally in your own Thank world, you. in your own lane. I appreciate playing that. Playing your guitar in your style, in your movements. Get comfortable with getting forced outside of some of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think at the nucleus of all this is some pretty interesting artistic magic happening. Thank you. That means I'm a lot. excited you're here. Katie, what are you thinking over there? Pottery. Pottery? Pottery. You know about pottery? A little bit. A little bit, I've made right? a pot before, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going at a speed. Right. And all it takes sometimes is a finger to make a handle, to make an edge, or to make it fall over. Absolutely, yeah. I think your nerves have got you going faster than the actual pocket is. I agree, yeah. But these are technical things yeah. on top of the immense talent you have. Thank you. You are a um, Park City James Taylor, That's right. your version. I like it. You are a fabulous storyteller. Thank you. Luke was right. You're in your own lane. Thank you So very the much. only person you're boxing with right now is yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let us vote. Luke, what do you think? It's a yes. I appreciate it. <laughs> Katie, what do you think? I'm a yes. Thank you very much. Absolutely yes. Thank you very One, much. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. You're yeah. the million dollar All right. All right, stay there, boys. Right. All right, stay there. Ready? I am ready. Oh, there you go. Ticket and Wyatt's box. Thank you very much. There you go. Has anybody got any idea what I have gotten myself into? These damn chairs. I'm fine. It's okay. We need to take a break for one second. One second. It is out of control. He's looking back. Blow it up. <laughs> I thought it was going to be judging. I thought it was going to be mentoring. I had no idea it was going to be babysitting. <laughs> On the phone, my kids. <laughs> I mean, Luke and Katie are like two mischievous kids figuring out what they can do to the substitute teacher. <laughs> what a day. You know what? I'm very happy for both of you, though. That was very that was very tough. I kept it word, but I'm so happy for both of you. <laughs> um. American Idol. As our judges continue to discover fresh new sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Melt in your mouth. Won't let you down. The calories. It's the cheese. Coming in hot. It's the cheese. That was so nice. I enjoyed that, Lucas. Go ahead. Who is Megan, rattling the, hell, the what damn? What the hell's going on? Sorry. Who is that? Thank you. That is enough. Who is that? I. Chill. Who 
Hey, hey. Are you good? What the f is that? Yo, come on. Yo, come here. Get this. Take him, take him out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, what? Katie, what are you doing? What do you guys do late at night for fun? Cow tipping. Move. <laughs> what are you doing? Move. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 We're <counting. laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're tired. It's late. And I'm counting. <laughs> you can't unsee that. I'm so sorry. You know what? I should let Lionel do his first counting. <laughs> I should. Man. Orlando just loves taking a call. He goes outside. Hello. What's up, homie? What's up, bro? <laughs> oh my God, look at Orlando. No, what is he doing now? He's so in what love with you, he he's do? looking at you. You hear me? I'm calling him to tell you what the hell happened. Get yourself someone that looks at you like Orlando look looks at look you. Look I haven't heard from my fiance all day. <laughs> But meanwhile, he sends video messages with hearts in his eyes to Luke. I mean, he Look it up like a show of a show of a show. Of a show. No, no, no. Right there. It's called Love in Bloom. Well, Luke has let him borrow his bike. That's what bros do. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a good day? The cycling was awesome. Dirt biking nearly could have killed me. I can't believe I'm still alive. Now your top ten are trying to win you over again. <laughs> She's all right, she's all right. Okay. Get her, get her, there you go. Phil, take it from here. Love it. Luke was telling me a story that when he's in concert, yes, that uh, in Australia, he, in Australia, he w was given a boot of someone in the audience and asked to pour a beer in it. No, shoey. No, it's called a shoey. Yes, learn something so, new every no. day. What a you got slippy. down there? No, no. for all of you. Heck um, yes. This may be weird, but I kind of have a sock obsession. I wore my lucky socks today. What's also... weird about a sock I... obsession? Exactly. That's why I'll give you more. Well, we'll take them. I okay. mean, my God. For Lionel, I have skeleton heads. Well, of course. Because, you, because you you're know killer, me well. man. I'll take that. Yeah. And you've, Katie, you've heard about me, right? I have. <laughs> I have cats, and one of them shooting lasers out of its eyes. I oh, thought, nice. I thought that would match you very well. Yes, I, I love cats, and I love she, Katie um, Cat. This is, it, yeah. These are the socks for you. Roosters. Roosters. Country. Cock a dang doodle doo. <laughs> so, who are you? What's your name? Uh, my name is Zach D'Onofrio. This is my first Stop audition it. ever. What are you. Well, like, six... <laughs> That's awesome. When you're watching stuff go on behind the scenes that you know is completely off the cuff and just happening, you kind of have to be ready for you know something to go wrong or you know but at the same time you got to stay the heck out of the way i don't think that they knew that we were actually getting them because katie said it as a joke and then we were like hey here are these roller skates go have fun and then katie and luke just start going and security's like 
well, are we supposed to follow them? And they're just kind of going everywhere. Everybody's watching, but it was just a really fun, like genuine moment. So Katie's, you know, skating around. She takes a little spill. We're, you know, a little worried, but you got. I mean, she's such a great person. To, to do stuff like this. It's like, you know, we, we're panicking behind the scenes to make sure that she's okay, but she's she's tough. <laughs> and Katie has to sneeze. You have allergies you got, today. You got sick. No, I've got a cold. I'm just gonna stick this up here. Not There's no gonna... days off in Katy Perry land. Never has there been a day off. Awful. Awful. You think that you guys are just Tip gonna awful. lounge when you make it? Forget about it. Oh no. Sing firework with that in there. She's suffering from- 